And while the NRL bosses are threatening to invade Perth with a new team, Fremantle coach Mark Harvey has warned Hunt's defection could be only the beginning. He says the Dockers would consider poaching players from league and it's all part of the battle for supremacy between the codes. Carmichael Hunt's stunning defection has planted a seed in Mark Harvey's mind. I'm like Hunt's look for John Mitchell today and have a chat to him about any of his players <laughs> that might want to change over. He won't be happy about that. <laughs> the Dockers coach says he'll seriously consider cross-code recruiting in the future. Provided he can play, I think it's a terrific testament to be able to attract those type of players from other sports to our game. And, and that's, that's amazing. I, and I, it's a real compliment to um, where our game's at. But Harvey has more immediate concerns with the David and Goliath battle against the Bulldogs. Des Headland got through an intense two-hour session and has been declared fit, as has Chris Main, who looks said to come in for his first game of the season after recovering from serious shin splints. Oh, I think everyone's forgotten about Main. Um, I think I thought he had as much impact. Well, he's probably not far behind Reese last year and he's in what we were looking for. Byron Shammer and Luke McFarlane will both spend another week on the sidelines. David Mundy didn't do much, Dean Solomon finished early and Brett Peake was nowhere to be seen. The midfielder in serious doubt with an ankle injury. His teammates training at Shark Park while Fremantle Oval is being repaired. We could have gone to Subiaco, but we just want to go to a different surrounding. That's what idiot is, different surrounding over the dimensions of the ground. Hopefully players adapt to the closeness of um, that type of ground. The Dockers have lost the last seven at Docklands. Katie Price, 10 News.